Hello, this video is to give you a complete, a quick overview on the platform. We will start with module 1, which is general. So under general, the first button which comes up, it's get started. Get started button gives you a complete overview on how to set up the platform to make, a, to make your first order and to create billing. So you have these steps to follow to set up the whole process. Moving ahead, I have the home button. So the main settings start from the home button. The home button gives you a particular a real-time analysis of what is going on in the platform in terms of sales, in terms of customer, and in terms of the restaurants you're working with. If you could see, you have the uh, numbers divided in terms, the real-time numbers divided in terms of the uh, the time which is today and the total number of sales done so th this particular thing is separated in sales customers and in restaurants you can also see the number of orders and their status you can also generate reports and uh, see them in terms of uh, year and months now uh, we'll move ahead and check for orders The order button uh, gives you a complete overview of the statu statuses of all the orders you have in the platform on that very moment. Every order status will come in these uh, different panels. So now, if I just accept this particular order here, it will come into pending status and vice versa. So now, if you just go ahead and click on this order ID, you will get to see the customer who made the order, the store from which the order for which the order is made, the for uh, the the phone number of the store, the payment method, email ID of the customer, order time, and the scheduled time on which the order has to be delivered, the delivery method, customer address, customer review if any, phone number of the customer along with the address of the customer. The most, the foremost and the most important part is the billing. So the billing is here. You can see they are divided, the total divided into three uh, particular um, segments, which is first one is subtotal, then the tax included and the total amount. If you come down here, you will be able to see the details of the product order and the total price as well. You can also see the order history. Order history shows you when the order was placed by the customer and when it was accepted by the customer as well. Moving ahead, I have an option here to, to generate an invoice for the, uh, for the customer. Now I will straight away, away jump to this particular button here which say add remark. Adding a remark here will just, let's say, the customer uh, called you and he wants to add like add extra ketchup you can just add a remark right now moving ahead uh, you will just uh, go to this button which says restaurants now restaurant button will help you add the restaurant and see all the information inside a restaurant it, it, it includes the uh, configuration like the start time and the starting opening time sorry and the closing time of that particular restaurant it includes configuration uh, like w w uh, what menu are they providing uh, to the customers and things like that now j let's just jump into this I, it, I will give you a detailed description on the on the restaurants configuration now if you see this panel there's a search button you can just type in Say, uh, I want to say Food York. I want to find a restaurant which is Food York. So this particular button will help you filter that particular restaurant. You can also export and import merchants. You can also add the merchant from here. Adding a merchant is very easy. You can just fill in this particular information here. 
which includes name, email ID, phone number, address, display address, restaurant name and description. You can also include the logo and the banner image. This is quick and simple. Moving ahead, I will just click on an existing uh, restaurant. So this is an existing restaurant. This is already added in the platform. Clicking on which, I found this, this information which was filled by the admin. And it, as you can see, I have filled all this information along with which I can also uh, set the background color and rating bank, uh, bar color of that particular merchant. Moving ahead, I have the serving radio option which actually helps you restrict a particular area or a particular area of service of that particular restaurant. So you have three options available. First is no service restriction. No service restriction will allow you, allow you to deliver ev in every part of, of your country, of your particular area of uh, uh, operate operations. Mention a radius around the central location of my restaurant. So you can just put in a number and you will be able to restrict the order in terms of 80 kilometers within your radius. Create a geofence. You can simply create a geofence around your region to limit the delivery. Just like this. Click on it. And that's it. No, no customer would be able to order uh, outside this region. I hope this is clear. Now I'll just go back to the restaurant button again. Now, after this, I have a sponsorship toggle. Putting this toggle on will actually put this particular merchant on the top on the website or on the app. Now, I have a business category. So, to show you the business category, I'll have to launch the website. So, I'll just launch the website for you and show you where, what is business category and how it comes up on the uh, website. Now these are the business categories. You can simply log it, you can simply map the particular merchant with one of these business category, whoever is related, and every time a customer comes up, it helps him out to find the food of his choice. Let's say I want Chinese food. So I'll just click on it and I found I found the merchant who actually serves Chinese food. So it's so easy. Alright, I hope that helps. Sorry for that. Yeah. So we were on business category and now comes this activity log. Active, activity log actually helps you to, you know, uh, keep a track on the differences made by or the changes made by the admin and by the merchant. You can also select the date range on which date it was made, on which date what changes were made. Moving ahead, I have the catalog option. The catalog option basically helps you upload your menu, upload your menu as an admin. The same option is available to the merchant on his panel. You can simply click on add to add a category. Let's say I add a category, put in a description and add a picture. Click on add. You have added a category. Now you want to add a subcategory. You can simply do the same procedure again. And then you want to add a product. You can simply add the product. Just put in a price. You can also choose the minimum quantity to order and the max maximum quantity per order, which can uh, per order. You can also include the cost price, the maximum retail price. You can uh, also put in the order preparation time for this particular product. You can manage the inventory. You can just toggle this on and put in the available quantity and that is it. You, uh, putting in description and long description is always your choice and the pictures you can just upload it from here. Click on add and that is it. So this part is done. Simple add, click on plus, add the category, then click on product, add the product. This is a simple procedure. Now, the question comes up is, what if, what if my menu is a number of, a, a number in thousands? 
how would you do it? For that, we have this particular option, which says exist CSV. Now CSV will help you uploading a menu of thousands within two minutes. You just simply have to follow these steps and help yourself. Moving ahead, I have, I have an option here which says the menu is it disabled or is it enabled so let me just share with you how to do it so let's say you have a category called burgers now one specific category of burgers is not available what would you do then you would just go to the menu and disable it now if i just filter it out disable only show me the disable only see I hope this is clear now I'll go okay another option which I have is the have here is uh, the language so if in case you are operating the panel in more than one language you and you want to see the category and the product in that language you can always you're always able to, you will be always able to check that from here now I'll straight away jump to configuration now this is the most important part of a store setting they say this has um the opening and the closing time uh it will answer whether you whether that particular merchant uh offer services every day or with, within a specific days so you can always make uh, the settings from here if in case he makes it every day then no settings if in if in case he uh you know if in case he so, uh, provides offer services within some within some specific days you can always make the settings from here let's say from 23rd of this month he will make he will be uh, providing services till 30th of june and just add so this shows the availability of that particular merchant this is basically helpful for the merchants who are who have seasonal businesses moving ahead i will also show the opening and close time of the merchant so I open at let's say 9 in the, or 9 a.m. in the morning I close by 7 30 p.m. at night I uh, so if I just put in some number here let's say I will uh, in one slot of order I will receive 12 orders so I so this particular thing will allow 12 orders in one particular time slot. I will tell you about the time slot in next uh, in next configuration. Uh, so this is basically, let's say you have a time slot of 9.30 to 10. In 9.30 to 10, the, the merchant will not receive uh, orders above, 12, above, above a number of 12. So just add it and close. Now, uh, we have another option which is search on delivery so if in case uh, there is a situation where uh, the number of orders are high or let's say it's a bad uh, bad um, weather or anything it can be any reason where you can just put in a search amount on a delivery or it all on the basis of days you can just put in a time and put the enter the value search type percentage fix and that is it add button and that's it Moving ahead, I have scheduling options. I can just click on it. Now this is where the slot comes up. So now this will do what? Let's say you open at nine and you close at um, maybe 8 p.m. At, at, in the evening. So the slot which uh, or the, the slot which will be available to the customer would be more like, uh, okay, it starts from nine, then 9.15, 9 9.30, 9.45 like that within a buffer of 15 minutes so let's say I choose 9.15 so in 9.15 uh, you as an admin will not be receiving more than 12 orders if you remember I have actually set a value here uh, here as 12 so I hope you relate these two things so let me clarify it again uh, you have a slot interval of 15 minutes and in here we have updated the slot that in every slot you will not receive more than 12 orders this is 
this will be helpful in term it, it would reduce the hustle if in case you have high demands and will limit the number of orders you always have the choice to not set any particular value to this particular thing you can receive as many number of orders you would want after that sorry i was here to on slot interval after that we have business categories so i have already told you about the business categories you can business you can enable the business category and map them if i just click on it now business category is enabled and i can just come here and choose the business category i belong to let's say i belong to uh these two i serve burgers i serve fast order so i will just click on them so every time on this particular um website i click on burgers that particular merchant will come up which is ladybug which is my restaurant coming back i have I have preparation time so uh, this is just to give you some time on preparing the order so it completely depends on you on how much time do you need to prepare the order the delivery delivery time will always comes up or will always show up to the customer on the basis of the preparation time you're entering here buffer before first slot appear it's, it's a very simple functionality where uh, you will be able to see that let's say you are opening the store at 9 a.m. in the morning and sometimes and the customer orders at 9 a.m. so you won't be able to actually you know deliver the order on time because you're just opening you need time to you know prepare for things maybe some deliveries needs to be done so you uh, that you may need some raw material to prepare their order so for that if you just put in a buffer time here let's say for 60 minutes so uh, the first slot so let's say you open at 9 and a customer wants to order he opens the app he show he opens the website he sees okay uh, the first time the first time slot he will be able to see will be of 10 a.m. I think I made you confused so let me let me just try it again so let's say you open at 9 a.m. in the morning you cannot deliver the order if it comes at 9 a.m. in the morning so if you've set a time of 60 minutes as a buffer time and the and the customer comes up he, the first slot to order would show up as 10 a.m. now you'll have to just save it moving ahead i have time range for scheduled orders so this will do what uh, i'll show you uh, on the website itself so I just click on it Check out and say proceed to pay. Okay, it did not come up. Hold on. So for that, I guess that's like a different flow. So I mean, this is this particular thing is not included here. So we can just ignore it for the moment and move ahead. Uh, minimum order amount. So this is just to limit. Uh, you know. Uh, the minimum order amount you would want from a customer uh, you can also uh, you know limit the number of orders per slot the same functionality I just discussed above now two can task uh, now this is a different uh, first software we have which is a, a delivery man management platform if in case uh, the merchant wants to, you know, uh, integrate with Token and take a help from Token and deliver orders with the help of Token. He can make a choice from here. And if it's pickup and delivery, or it's if it's only delivery, he can always make a choice from here. Uh, now the next uh, question, uh, next option which comes up is catalog. So if in case you have anything which is out of stock, you can always toggle this thing on, and the out of stock material will be visible to the customer itself. You can always set up a discount so if you just click on it pull in the information and add the discount uh, if you want to uh, if you want your customer to know that the order is placed and is confirmed once the order is placed you can always toggle this on uh, reminder for schedule orders is basically for the merchants or for yourself let's say uh, you got it got you received an order and now you're not aware you received an order because you're not here on the panel so if you set a time here the 60 minutes after one hour you will get a reminder that okay you have uh, what you have an, an accepted order so please look into it
stuff like simple a uh, reminder for customer uh, okay this says please enter the time in minutes before which the notification will appear to the customer that is if the order is scheduled at 5 pm and the time is set for five minutes the notification will appear at 4 55 so i think that is much more clearer now see yellow being yellow yellow has a definite program for marketplaces so if you want to switch to marketplace that's easy as this toggle here you can switch to product marketplace like a restaurant you can also switch to a service marketplace like a beauty services like a home services so it's always your choice uh moving ahead i have one booking per time slot so this is basically this will actually help you if in case you have you are receiving you know huge orders in one particular in one order you receive like less than 90 burgers so in, th in those cases when you like uh, deal with um huge number of orders or bug uh, orders in bulk you can always make use of this moving ahead i have multiple products in uh, uh, slash single services in single cart so basically some uh, merchants do what they allow multiple uh, products to be added in one particular order and some merchants they do not allow it so you can always uh, you know toggle this on in uh, as per your use product multi selection is the same uh, now it says checkout template associate customer information with an order that the customer will fill during checkout so let, let's say um, let's say uh, you your customer is ordering um, a burger and you want to ask your customer do you want extra ketchup or do you want extra cheese so you can always add this field extra cheese question mark choose uh where is it multi-select sorry or oh, let's say text add it save it so he will answer it extra cheese yes in a text format so that is it that is all about the merchant configuration and settings moving ahead i will go to the products now this is an option where you can just quickly add merchants uh, catalog this is just an option to quickly go to the merchants catalog you have the option here click on it and you get the catalog of that particular merchant easy moving ahead i have customers customers basically this particular option gives you all the information of all the customers all the customer database you have in your platform you can export and import it on a, uh, on a Excel sheet. I will click on this outer ID. Okay, I have information of the customer ID, a name, email ID, phone number, registration date, COD status, and pay letter status. So these two buttons are basically, um, you know, allowing your specific customer uh, a specific um, advantage of paying in uh, cash. So COD status, uh, COD status will allow your customer to pay in cash on delivery. Pay later status will actually add up, um, you know, paying, uh, in in paying in other uh, forms of, you know, payment options which are not there on the platform. Let's say he wants to pay by a card, or let's say he wants to just transfer it in your account to some other payment uh, media. So this particular thing will be helpful for that. Coming to analytics. Now, this is very important in terms of, you know, analyzing the growth or analyzing the market, analyzing your sales, your uh, customers, your revenue, everything. So you can see any information regarding your panel here. So if you can see here, you have live revenue, live customers, live orders, you have orders and revenue. So this is like a clear picture on what is going on on the platform itself. So this is basically a new, uh, uh, new account. So you do not have much data, but I am pretty sure this is very helpful in terms of tracking on what is going on. Engagement. Uh, so this is this is this is something very important. So you have user onboarding funnel. So this is to give you a clear picture on the customer side. P pending verification. Uh, then you have this particular thing which says 
number of transactions made by the user, total sign up you have in the platform and register successfully. So this gives you a picture of how many of the uh, of the uh, you know customers you have in the platform and on what status they are in. Then we have registered versus transacting users. So this is uh, where you see, okay, you have these many registered users and then out of them, these many are transacting. Moving ahead, I have order per user daily, active users daily, and then comes users. So you can see the customer registration on that particular day and the merchant registration on that particular day, referred customers and referred customer details. So this is basically one important part in yellow panel, which is very, very important in tracking the growth of your particular platform. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.